please meet Benji or Benjamin when he's being naughty. He is my FIV positive rescue cat. He is six years old um, and rescued from a cat's protection which luckily had a branch specifically for FIV positive cat. cat. He, it, he was Australia for six years, well all his life really, um, so it's not really known how he contracted FIV. It's normally through mating and through fighting and so there's a lesson there to get your cats neutered. Um, he was so he was a stray on the street until he was at, hit by a car unfortunately so he's got slight back damage which is not related to his FIV. FIV is basically feline immunodeficiency virus. It means that his oh he's on the move. The virus will gradually attack the uh, white blood cells in his body so his immune system as he grows older will slowly deteriorate slightly. Um, as a result of that he needs to be kept as an indoor cat just because otherwise his body will not be able to fight off common illnesses and flus and things like that. But he's very happy as an outdoor as an indoor cat, sorry. Um, I made the decision to get an FIV positive cat because I was looking for a cat that needed an indoor home. Um, he is like any other normal cat. Well, as normal as any cat can be. He likes playing, you have to excuse the mess because he likes playing with the newspaper. Um, we recently rehomed two kittens, which you can see running in and out of the camera. Um, they are not FIV positive. I took that decision because it's because of, I know Benji and his character. They're all going to be neutered. Benji is neutered. The kittens will be once they're older. And um, the only other way is to, tr to transfer it is through fighting. So a really deep, deep bite to trans transmit the saliva and blood across. And um, because I know his character, I know he's not going to do that. He's a very friendly, friendly giant. Hey. Eh? What makes me so mad is that if he wasn't in cat's protection, where they have a dedicated FIV unit, then he would have been put to sleep. And many rescues advocate putting them to sleep. And many vets wrongly advocate putting them to sleep. Why should he be put to sleep? I, it, it, it drives me mad. All because someone didn't bother getting him neutered, that allowed him to roam, to fight and mate. That's how he caught the FIV, which isn't his fault. He deserves a home just like any other cat. Does he look ill? Does he look ill? Do you do you look ill, Benji? No, good boy. That's it. That's the story of my Benji. Well, a little of his story anyway. I hope this will help you decide to get an FIV positive pretty cat. As you can see, he's pretty normal. A little overweight, but that's not because of his FIV. Just like your food, don't you, my love? He is on a diet before anyone complains. Anna, hello. Fred. Hey, say bye bye, Benji.